how to subtract vector shapes in Photoshop CC220. Just go to any of the shape tools. I'm using an ellipse. Make certain it's the shape in the top left and set a color for it, etc. And then just drag and create your design. Then just create and drag another design, another vector shape. And you can see what's happened. You created two layers. You can see that in the layers panel. Select both of those shapes. And with both of them selected, you can go to the layer menu. And you can go down to combine shapes and subtract front shape. That should work. Now, sometimes it doesn't. I'm not certain why. Sometimes it will be disabled or whatever. It will suddenly think, I'm not just going to work. I have had that a few times. What I often do, I just create a shape and I create another shape. And it can be positioned anywhere, of course. What you can then do is select both of the shape layers. But you can also then go over to the direct selection tool. And then select all of the design that way. Just go over it with a direct section tool and all of the points are now selected. Now, hopefully, the combine shapes option, the layer menu, combine shapes and subtract front shape will be available. And you can be able to do it, subtract it like that. That's just a workaround. Sometimes if it doesn't seem to work, that's, I've always found, seems to work for me. Now I'm going to use another shape and just show exactly the same. But just quickly show you, it doesn't need just obviously a circle. So again, collect, select those. And you can see they're both selected there in the layers panel. That's window and layers. What you can then do, of course, go to the layer menu again. And go down the bottom, combine shapes. Now weirdly, the layers panel doesn't have that feature. You can't right click on it and combine, etc. So the layer panel is this way. What you can do now, of course, you can add other shapes. Again, another rectangle or square, and you can see two shapes. Select both of those. And once you've done that, go to layer menu and combine shapes and subtract front shape. And you can repeat that, of course. But Perhaps a quicker way of doing this is the next. Now, I'm just going to run through another way of doing it. But the other approach is slightly more confusing. It's, I mean, it, it works, of course. But it's not so intuitive, I don't think. And maybe that's where a lot of confusion comes with the subtraction from front shape. So I'm just going to go with that next. So you can see you can build up quite a interesting design using that approach. But now what I'm going to do, I'm going to use a slightly different way of doing it. So I'll remove that. I go with the rectangle tool, but I could use, of course, ellipse, etc. Or custom shapes. And this time I'm going to use right at the top. It's a new layer. So I'm going to create it as a new layer. So it's a new layer. Now this is slightly odd. What I do now is go to the move tool. I deselect, deselect everything. So everything's nothing selected. So you've got rectangle, they're not selected now. Then I select it again. And I know that sounds odd. You think it's exactly the same as before, but I've just found that this seems to work for me. So select it again. So once it's been selected, then go to the there, the rectangle tool, or it could be the ellipse or whatever. Then go over to the middle bit there at the top and go for subtract front shape. And now you'll see a plus with a little minus below. Now it should really be just minus, I think, personally. But the pointer shows a plus and minus, or cursor. And now what you can do, everything will be applied as a subtraction while that's active. And it's all on a layer. So you look in the layers panel, you can see it's on that layer. What you can do, you can merge them all together if you wish. Merge shape components. So it all becomes one complete layer. And it will turn around and say, been converted. Live shape into a normal shape.
And I'm going to go and select a different one this time. I'm going to go with an ellipse. That new layer. Makes sense, new layer. Draw it. Then move tool. Deselect de the layers. Again, that sounds odd, I know. Deselect them. Then select the layer again. Now go to the ellipse tool again. Make certain that's selected. And I'm certain you probably can find your own way of doing this. Maybe quicker, maybe less steps. But this is what I found works reliably each and every time. Go down to subtract front shape. And again, you see that little plus with a minus there. And then you can draw that and that will subtract from the shape. And you can, of course, make a mottled design quickly using that. And that's a quick way of subtraction. Now, you can also, of course, because it's live, what you can do, you can turn around and say, I don't want it to be subtracting anymore. So I can just draw that. You can see it subtracts from the edge. But you can go up to there and say, combine shapes. And then it will suddenly be combined. Now, you'll see there's the line still around there. Now that's what the merge shape You'll remove that if you go for merge. Subtract again. Then you can go for intersect. That will do that. And exclude. We'll go for that. But I want it to be subtract. So I'm just going to put it back to subtract. And again, what you can do, once you've done that, you can obviously continue to add more shapes. But you can then merge it in the same menu. So that design, I'm going to remove that now. And I'm going to go and select another one, polygon this time, just to show you that you can do it with a few other shapes. So a polygon shape. Create that. And again, go over to the move tool, deselect them all over there. Select the move tool again. It's odd, I don't know why, but that's, so you've got the shape selected. You'd think it would be no different but it seems to not always work in the way that you think. Go down to subtract front shape. And then draw again. Now you can see that little plus with a minus just below it. So it's subtracting. And you can see it and you can apply it, of course, multiple times. And it's all on that shape layer. And again, you can, once you've finished, you can go up to that same menu in the middle and go for merge to merge them all into one shape. So merge shape. So you can't you can't work with them anymore after that. And there you've got your design. And of course, when you do that, what you can do, you can save it to a custom shape, etc. Hope you found this tutorial of interest. Please subscribe to the Graphic Extra channel. Always adding new tutorials about Photoshop, Illustrator, etc. Please add some comments, always appreciated. A dislike or like. Thank you much.